Okay, we all do dumb things. That's just the way life is. Sometimes when we do them, we're a little kid. Other times, we're a drunk adult. Can you tell the difference? All right, we got uh, some submissions here from the WRMF app and the mic drop feature. Thank you very much for sending these in. All right, we got uh, our first story here. What is the dumb thing that you did here? I burnt my eyebrow off with a candle. I burnt my eyebrow off with a candle. Mm, I can see how that can happen. Damn, you're lucky you didn't get your skin. What do you think? Is that something that sounds more like a little kid or more like a drunk adult? That sounds like a drunk adult trying to get a little frisky. We know. You like to light candles and get in the bathtub and drink wine by yourself. (laughs) And and (laughs) put candles out in the tub? Yeah. (laughs) I think drunk adult. We think drunk adult. I do, too. I think when you're drunk, you sometimes lose awareness of flame. <laughs> you do. <laughs> and you get kind of intrigued by it. You do, yeah. <laughs> Little kids are kind of more afraid of it. So, yeah, I think drunk adult is that. What were you? I was a drunk adult. Yes. I didn't have any tweezers, and I was going on a date. And while I was getting ready, I decided to have several whiskey shots. And uh, that's when I got the great idea to try to trim my eyebrows with a candle and I ended up burning off my entire left eyebrow. <laughs> so I had to cancel my date. Why would, what? You ever, why would you ever think of trimming your eyebrows by burning them with a candle? Some people get those candle or those, uh, not candle, but burnt haircuts. Uh, yeah, I have seen that. That's that's one of the craziest things ever. Have you seen that? People can give you a great... I saw the fattest fade with somebody doing it with a torch. Yeah. It was amazing, it Virginia. It's pretty insane. I think it makes a great TikTok. I think you're stupid if you do that in real life. The person that was doing the haircut was a professional and nailing it and, and giving a great fade. A professional what? Hair fire person. <laughs> Hair fire person. <laughs> Isn't it big in, was it Japan or something like that that they were doing that? I don't know, but I was very impressed, and I probably watched four or five of the videos. You went down a rabbit hole. I did, man. <laughs> I'm like, wow, he's, he's going to burn him. He didn't burn him. They got the bird. <laughs> they got me. <laughs> okay, we got uh, one for one so far. Let's see what uh, we got here. We have uh, Isaac here. Isaac, what is the dumb thing you did? I hit Ronald McDonald in the face with a chicken sandwich. You hit Ronald McDonald in the face with a chicken sandwich. I mean, that just that would blow up on TikTok. Wow. Not everything's about TikTok. You are in your own rabbit hole of TikTok. Your life is TikTok. Whatever. You're right there with me, yeah. bruh. Yeah, I know. We talk about it a lot. <laughs> We're both in it. Uh, I'm going to go little kid. Going to go little kid McDonald's, on this. McDonald's. Yeah. Ronald McDonald. He was yeah. there for a party. Right. Feels that way. I mean, an adult is hitting Ronald McDonald with a chicken sandwich. Come uh, on, man. You hope not. All right, Isaac, what were you? I was a little kid, right? And I got into a fight with my best friend at his birthday party, which, of course, for little kids, it was at a McDonald's. And, of course, those big McDonald's always have Ronald McDonald going doing the balloon exhibits and giving all that good crap out. Mm-hmm. Well, me and my friend get into a full-fledged fight on his birthday in that McDonald's. I threw a chicken sandwich at him, but it missed. And it hit Ronald McDonald square in the face. Ronald was kind of pissed off, but hey, you're a clown. What are you going to do? Okay. All right. All right. How about He's that? a little extra. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Turn it down. Yeah, he was. We just went through a hurricane. Yeah. Has show some respect. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I think he had a fun energy. I don't know. He's a little much. She didn't feel that. She wasn't feeling. I could tell. She's making faces the whole time. Oh, yeah. Now I don't believe it because it sounds like he was overacting. Is he just yeah. pulling our leg? Well, it yeah. could have happened. Sometimes when people get on the air, you yeah. know, they they want to animate. He might have gotten a little rehearsed. He wrote it all out, and then uh, it sounded a little off. D- don't don't listen to the comments. Don't. Be more natural. That's my that's my critique. Okay, so when people were sending these in, you got to sound natural for yeah, Virginia. Yeah, don't make it sound like you're waka 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 in a vaudeville. Simon Cowell over here do not like that yeah. performance. Critiquing the uh, <laughs> mic drops that we're getting here. It was extra. Okay, all right. Okay. The whole time the audio is playing, I, I just see her moving, snarling. Talk right. <laughs> Okay, Lisa submitted this on the WRMF app. What is the dumb thing that you did, Lisa? Act right. So I threw up at a wedding right as the priest said, you may now kiss the bride. Threw up at a wedding. 
Oh, Talk little about kids it. do this a lot because little kids will be like the ring bearer uh-huh. or the flower girl yeah. and they'll like pass out or sit down or vomit like that happens a lot. Yeah, because typically if this is happening during the ceremony, you haven't started drinking yet, right? During most respectable weddings, yes. During my both of my weddings, no. OK, everybody was just. yeah. Oh, I serve. A, we did a pre wedding cocktail hour. Okay, all right. For your what? Your first wedding or both? Because your first wedding, I, I'm not sure you wanted to be there. So I, think, <laughs> I think that was a different kind of buzz. The second wedding, we were in a parade. Everyone was turned. That was a celebration. That was a party. Uh-huh. Two totally different drunks. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the first one, I wasn't drinking, but everybody else was because oh. I had a pre cocktail happy hour. I was pregnant. Oh, that's right. She was a yeah. country song. Her first wedding. She was. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. I was a shotgun wedding and yeah. crying in the food. Court that morning. Uh, the second wedding, Kev, was just next level fun. Yeah. Well, I had to make up for the sad ass first one. <laughs> you were crying in the food court. I was crying the day of my wedding in the food court. <laughs> and Sabara wasn't even open. It was oh, 9 a.m. Right. She was in the food court. It wasn't even yeah, open. It wasn't open yet. It oh, wasn't lunch. Man. Oh, terrible. <laughs> that's your wedding day. That's that's the omen I should have listened to. You're crying in the food court, girl. So are we going a uh, little kid then for Lisa here puking at the wedding? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. What were you here, Lisa? Yeah, I was a drunk adult. <laughs> um, it was my sister's wedding of all weddings. Okay. Um, I got hammered on Fireball uh, right before the ceremony, and mm. it just did not agree with me. Okay. And yeah, right as the priest said, you may now kiss the bride. I puked everywhere, um, and I was a bridesmaid, so everyone saw it, and it was mortifying. <laughs> Respect. Tough. How are fireball barfs? Are they nice and cinnamon and delicious? I don't know. I never barfed on fireball. Oh, okay. I, I made that witch's brew at Jaybird's house with the Atoll vodka and oh, lemonade. Okay. That was a little rough to barf up. Okay. It's very acidic. Yeah, uh-huh. some people say I keep bringing that up too much, and I, I can't imagine why I would bring up Virginia throwing up on my wall at my party. I, I don't know why I can't let that go. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't know why. What you doing this weekend? Yeah, cleaning up your vomit still. Barf is looking to party. I'll yeah. come back uh-huh. over. I got the Atoll lemonade if you've got the time. For some reason, yeah. I, it, it's still on my mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wah.